As the mornings get colder, it can often seem impossible to get out of bed. And instead of wanting to head to work, many are left scratching their heads as to contemplating whether it's ever worth moving. But here, in a piece for the conversation, two sleep researchers have revealed how to make it easier to get up and leave the comfort of their duvet. Dr. Siobhan Banks and Crystal Grant, a PhD student in sleep and chronobiology, are both based at the University of South Australia. Getting a good sleep can be tough, and this can lead to feeling less than refreshed when you wake up in the morning. Falling asleep and waking up our brain processes we don't fully understand, but research suggests these transitions are a lot more gradual than the flip of a switch. Even if you feel like you are unconscious until morning, sleep has a typical structure, cycling in and out of lighter and deeper stages. To help keep your sleep slash wake schedule regular and improve health and alertness seek out bright light in the morning when you wake up. But don't have any light before you fall asleep in contrast, too much bright light at night can make falling asleep difficult. This is because bright light suppresses melatonin, a hormone that promotes sleep. This is why we don't advise the use of devices like mobile phones, tablets or laptops in bed before sleep. Don't eat or drink two hours before bedtime. Eating a large meal too close to bedtime can put pressure on your esophageal sphincter, the muscles at the end of the esophagus, that prevent acid and stomach contents from traveling backwards from the stomach when you lie down. This can cause heartburn that can disturb sleep. Eating your last main meal at least two to three hours before bed will ensure food is adequately digested. Fluid intake should also be reduced prior to bed, so you don't wake up needing to go to the toilet. No wine or beer for at least four hours before bed. Allow a bit of time for grogginess to subside the first 15 minutes after waking can be difficult for the best of us. That's because your brain is not yet working properly. This is called sleep inertia. Sleep inertia is the groggy feeling when you first wake up, and occurs because some of your brain is still in a sleep state. Sleep inertia helps us go back to sleep if we've been woken briefly. But if you are woken suddenly, say to an alarm or a telephone ringing, sleep inertia can impact your cognitive ability to respond to the alarm or phone.
the magnitude of sleep inertia is affected by prior sleep loss, time of day, and if you wake from deep sleep or not. So if you are suffering in the morning and finding it hard to wake up, make sure to get a good sleep and allow a bit of time to gradually wake up in the morning. Alcohol can make you feel sleepy, but consumed too close to bedtime can also disrupt sleep. Set a good sleep routine and stick to it. The body runs on an internal clock that controls sleep and wake. This internal body clock works most effectively if you have a regular routine. Try to set a consistent sleep and wake time. And remember, bright morning light is important to reset your body clock. 